Alright, what is up guys? So, the last time I did a video, I made a video on the 99 crafting, and what I've been doing is I thought I was going to be working on different things. I thought I was going to be working on, like, I did wind up getting myself, I can't remember what I started off, I think it was like 52, I got myself to 67 uh, construction. But, this pod is, obviously I can't make them that long until, like, I get some more... Watch time people are interested, then yeah, I'll make them longer. For right now, I can only make them about five minutes, so I kind of got to jam pack a lot of stuff within about five minutes. Anyways, right now, I've been uh, getting that construction up, and I've been getting, uh, as you can see, I'm getting some wood cutting. I'm kind of, I ran out of money after using it all on construction <laughs> to get myself to that, so I need another 1.3 mil to get myself to 70 construction, and I'll probably bay, either keep on going with that or something else, but, um... I got about 291 more magics to cut to get my next level, as you can see over here. Right now, I got about, I think, 500 logs in the bank. So, uh, what I was going to come up on this one, and I don't mean to keep on rambling, even though I can't ramble. This topic was going to be on the Grand Exchange and, like, the update of everything. I can't remember exactly what year that... <clears throat> Jesus Christ, I can't remember what year exactly it came out It I know it, like, became our... <clears throat> Jesus Christ, I keep on, keep on uh, getting some throat, sorry. I know what became the change or the main change to, uh, to RS3. Either that or was the EOC, the Evolution of Combat. I personally don't, I didn't really like it, but I mean, obviously I'm not, I'm not a PVM or PVP person. I am, but I'm not. I'm more of like an old school PKer if I did make myself some peers. I can't tell you how many peers I've made, but, uh. What I wanted to get into is the Grand Exchange. Like, I remember when it was coming up, and there was like so much, so much controversy on it, saying like, is it a good thing or a bad thing? I watched. There's a YouTuber I watched named Nightmare RH, and he was talking about it yesterday. And I was already gonna come up and like say something about it before he did the video, but um. Anyways, he was mentioning a lot of stuff, but uh, saying that. People, try. I'm getting my like train of thought in there. Some people were saying it was a bad update. Some people were saying it was a good update. And like how you had to, like he was saying, you had to have street smarts to like go into the certain worlds because when before the GE became in there, you had to go to certain worlds. You had to go to certain like World One or World Two. Or whatever it was to go into a certain place in either Falador or Varrock. Most time it was more of like the West Bank or East Bank. And if you guys know what I'm talking about. I can give you guys and say like where these uh, stuff has been. Some people do know this. Some people don't know this. I just, I did a lot of uh, how-to videos for newcomers. So I'm just, I wasn't completely sure. But anyways, it's because I'm far and far over here. That's the reason why. So back in the day, when you were over here, here's Cammy. When you were over here, before the GE even got brought into the whole entire game, this was all blank. They even took the wilderness out, and I'll, I'll say that in another like another pod. But like, they didn't. I mean, they took out the wilderness, even though they had it in there. They had. They didn't have a GE here. Anyways, you got the East Bank and you got the West Bank. So if you wanted to do certain things. If you wanted to sell, like, say, for instance, if you wanted to sell Rune, you wanted to sell a full thing of Rune, you had to go, like, I want to say it was right here. You had to go to different spots of the entire place around here, because all of this, all of this was all full of people. And you could, the, it was even hard getting into World War and World 2. But you had to go in there, and you had to go into your chat over here to find people that were selling it message them and do a thing and then they would have to you have to have to like because there was so much chat going on you had to specify what you were in so instead of the game i can't remember what tab they had but like you had to go into one where you could only see you and the person talking and once you traded them and went into it you had to go into that to do all that stuff it was to me personally i didn't really ever do it i did it but i didn't i was like more selling it to either the uh the bank itself not the bank itself the uh i was selling a lot of it to uh the general store even though I, at that time i was obviously i was younger so i just wanted to get the money so i didn't know obviously if you sold it to people then you'd get a lot more 
my cousin was into the whole entire PKing stuff, so he was always out there buying like dragon, rune, the lobsters, um, lobster, shark. I don't even think he was a member at the time. It was more just uh, just lobsters. But yeah, I remember him having to go to go law run, which you help. I can bring that one to another pod. But like, point that I'm getting at is that like, do I think it was a good update? Yeah, I do think it was a good update. I know people that have thought that it wasn't, like, they thought it, like, ruined the whole entire aspect of the game. But overall, I still think, even if it not necessarily ruined the game, but, like, it ruined an aspect of it to try to talk to people instead of just having, like, a computer kind of thing, just get everyone's buy and sell items into one place, like, one, one big-ass marketplace. Because you didn't have that. You just had to go in there and you had to find the person to go sell and do this and do that. For whatever you wanted to sell whether it was runes like you can buy that from the store but like if you want to buy it in bulk you had to buy it from somebody else because even when you went to the rune shop over there it was probably costing a little more and they only had a certain amount i want to say it was either 200 or 1000 so if you want to go out there and buy like 10k say like law runes or 10k errors to go out there and like work on your magic you had to go out there and literally buy them from the person and then most of the time either if they knew they could upsell it then they would sell it for more because they knew that they, you would buy it because there was no one else at that time to to that was selling like say air runes or water runes so say if you want to go out there and buy it for like five gp a person would be like nope i want to sell it for seven it's like fuck like you're sitting there going like why so then you would buy like some people wouldn't even allow you to buy them unless they were in bulk some people wouldn't buy like sell them like one or two at a time if you say if you wanted to get like only 200 to get your next level in mage or like 1k and the person's like nope 5k at a time like he would most people would like adjust to it and then sell what they had especially lobsters if you only want to do like one or two more runs and you only need like 20 lobs the person would be like nope 100 or not not sell they would literally say that and it's like okay so you had to buy in bulk or you couldn't do it but anyways what i was saying is that do i think the g was a good update yes i do do I think it kind of ruined the whole entire aspect of like somewhat of the game and like how it uh it ruined the inner it ruined some sort of the interaction of the game even though they still have that because nowadays you come in here and start like woodcutting and no one I guarantee if I start talking right here no one would be talking no one I'd never I've been here for about maybe a couple days now because I'm trying to ever since I got my 99 crafting I've been trying to work on my woodcutting to get the money to to construct to get the construction up and i've just been wood cutting and i haven't seen one conversation go like at all so they used to i remember back in the day when you would be able to go on here and like if you said hey what's up and then like three or four people would respond nowadays no one really does that anymore anyways again it was just an interaction of the game so if anybody has i'm trying not to make this i was trying not to make this more than five minutes but I wind up making it eight minutes because there is a lot to talk about, different aspects of it. So just let me know if you guys like, have any comments on it or like what you thought of the Grand Exchange update. So I'm probably gonna do like a uh, what's called a um, a wilderness one. I'll probably come up with some more as I go. But yeah, I can talk about this for a while. But again, there's more aspects to it. Just tell me in the comments below like what you think. If you guys were there at that time before the GE actually got brought in. But anyways. I do think it was a good update. It helps people sell, it makes people money, and does this. So it does help. It gives just a bigger variety and like update the future of the game. Anyways, let me know what you guys think. I'm gonna go ahead uh, put this video up and like I said, like sub. If you guys enjoy the content. I can come up with some more and let me know what you think. All right, have a good day.